How's everybody doing? My name is Betchman, and welcome back again to more Pokemon VGC stuff, things, and everything else in between. We're back with a new team this week. Um, we did do the Players' Cup. Unfortunately, things didn't go as well as I hoped they were going to. Uh, we didn't do terribly, but we didn't do great. It was just a lot of we'd win several in a row, and then we'd just lose a couple in a row, and it just kept going so back and forth. We weren't consistent at all. Um, we gave it our best shot, but that's what... Uh, Everything within Pokemon's about, you lose, you learn. Um, gotta be able to learn from it to be able to get better with it. So we're trying a new team. Um, I saw this one from another Pokemon YouTuber, Osiris, uh, using a Charizard team. And I remember back when VGC was first starting, it was super, super popular to use Charizard. So I figured maybe it still could be good. Um, it, the team that he used that I did a little bit of tweaking with my own was Charizard, Sableye, Rillaboom, Landorus, Registeel, and Nine T Alone with Ninetales. So we'll give this team a shot. Our rank is not doing so hot either, but we've been in much, much worse positions before if our rank and, and been able to come back. So that's kind of what the goal is. See if we can, uh, if we can come back from this deficit that we've created. So... Going against Marco, who's got the Venusaur team. It's a pretty standard Venusaur team with Torkoal and DD, Glastrier, uh, Landorus, Hatterene, and Venusaur. Um, <clears throat> now bears the question of what we want to start off with here and what he's going to start off with. Most likely, he'll start off with Hatterene and Ndidi, but he could just jump straight into Torkoal with, uh, or not Torkoal, but yeah, Torkoal with Venusaur. Um, I could bring Ninetales to change the weather, but I do really like the idea of having him set the sun immediately, so I think I want to bring those two first. Um, if he does set the Trick Room, I'll have Registeel sitting in the back. Uh, after that... Probably Rillaboom. It's either Rill uh, Rillaboom and Landers are both going to not do great at all against Glastrier. Uh, I kind of want Rillaboom just to get rid of the Psychic Surge. So we'll run with that. We'll run with that. See how that works for us. We do have Registeel, though. If he does set the Trick Room, we throw Registeel out. We just go for Iron Defense, and uh, everything goes pretty well after that. Or it should. That's kind of the idea, I think, with the team. Um, you know, Sableye, Charizard is kind of the pretty generic start with it. Uh, Sableye's running Quash, Sunny Day, Will-O-Wisp, and Foul Play. So he does opt for the Trick Room. Now, instead of Dynamaxing here, I got an even better idea. He's gonna increase his special defense, which is fine. We are gonna go for Heat Wave, and we're gonna go for a Sunny Day. <clears throat> He's not gonna Dynamax, I'm not gonna Dynamax. Uh, if he does, he read me pretty well. Okay, so he doesn't Dynamax, he's gonna go for the Trick Room. Which means he's gonna go for uh, Follow Me on Ndidi and setting it with Hatterene. And we actually miss Hatterene, which kind of sucks. He doesn't follow me, so maybe he's just going for... Yeah, he is. Doesn't affect Sableye, so Charizard's just going to go down. Did he go double? No, he just hit Trick Room. Okay. It is unfortunate that we didn't hit uh, both of them with Heat Wave. Um... <clears throat> Switch to Rillaboom here and go... I mean, I guess go Foul Play into Ndidi. Get rid of the, uh, the Psychic Surge at least, so Expanding Force isn't going to connect at all. Well, it's going to connect, but not do as much damage. Figured he'd probably Dynamax Hatterene here. Um, I'm saving my Dynamax for Registeel. So even if I do lose somebody here, like I'm expecting, I'll probably lose Sableye. 
Um, I'll still be able to send in Registeel, Dynamax him, just go for nothing but uh, uh, Max Steel Spikes and hope that that's enough. So he does go forward in the Sableye. <clears throat> does actually live because of the berry. Question is, is am I go am I going to hit myself or am I going to possibly take out Indeedee? We hit ourselves. That's kind of a uh, moral of the story <clears throat> with this uh, <laughs> with my luck. So expanding force won't do as much. Not as much, but we will let Hatterene get healed a little bit, which is kind of unfortunate. I am not really sure, to be honest, if Grassy Glide takes out Ndidi. It might. So we'll go, we'll, yeah, we'll do Grassy Glide and we'll go for, uh,. Steel Spike and a Hatterene. <clears throat> By doing this, it's going to increase our defense um, to where once it turns into uh, our Dynamax being over with, we have Body Press, we're plus three defense at that point. Um, if he does have uh, Torkoal, it's kind of going to be really bad. He won't do as much damage with me being Dynamax, but he's still going to do quite a bit. We'll see what Registeel can do, though. Really, really wish I would have hit that double Heat Wave. That would have probably changed everything, especially landing that on Hatterene. would have easily brought it down to its Sash if it had Sash. Alright, does a Grassy Glide take him out? If I connect. I forgot I was confused. Okay, it does connect. And it does. Max Flare into Registeel. Oh, that's not good. We do have leftovers and we do have the um, uh, grassy terrain down. That did not do much of anything. Defense goes up. We'll get a little bit back from leftovers and from the grassy terrain, but kind of forgot that Hatterene would run Max Flare, which is not good on my part. I was I kind of figured it had nothing it could do to my Registeel, but uh, forgot about that one important detail. And he does have Torkoal. Go figure. I think this is the last turn. No, it's one one more turn of Trick Room after this, unfortunately. I guess I'll just hit Hatterene and I'll go for Max Guard. Cause it's not really looking like we're gonna pull away a win on this one. Um, we can still get two wins though. Still confident that we can easily uh, easily come back. Pretty sure we came back from like a thirty. Uh, what were we like? We were like thirty thousand or something. Something ridiculous. Let's go for your eruption. It's gonna knock out real of them. Um, but yeah, we were like ranked 30,000 or something. We were able to come all the way back. I don't remember what we ended at, but we were at least below 10,000. And Hatterene goes for Max Flare as well. So unfortunately, my Energy Steel has a little too much speed invested into it. I think no matter what, both these guys that, uh, that I'm going against would be faster either way. Charizard will come out. Not going to really be able to do much of anything. I don't like the way that Registeel looks down at people. <laughs> That's actually really terrifying. Uh, I guess we go Protect on Charizard. Do we really try to risk him? I... We don't really have much of a choice. Holy, we actually got a double max guard. Okay. Okay. 
<clears throat> so what you're saying is there's a chance. Is anyone else uncomfortable with seeing how Registeel looks? With how he's looking down, I don't like it. Uh, sun goes away. Not great. So that means, hey, at least it means that Charizard's not going to take any more damage. Let me just return to normal. We have plus one in our defense. <clears throat> I really just want to go double into Torkoal. I feel like I need a Heat Wave, though. Because I gotta take Hatterene out. I think it will at least take Hatterene out. And I go for a Body Press and a Torkoal. So it does connect on both. It does take Hatterene out. Did a good amount of damage to Torkoal. So a Body Press should do a decent amount again to where Eruption does nothing, right? Does he go for Eruption? We crit. He does go for eruption, should do nothing. Beautiful. Okay. Maybe we're actually gonna pull this one out. I have no idea. If he has Venusaur on the back, then I think we actually pull this off. Grass disappears, so we're not gonna get any more health. We still have leftovers, but we're not gonna get any more health uh, additional on Zerge Steel. <clears throat> He's got Landorus. That's bad. I was really hoping it was anything but Landorus. Ah, that's pretty bad. Um, I don't think I outspeed it. <clears throat> what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to protect on Charizard and just go for taking Torkoal out. Unless he goes for Earthquake and protects him his own Torkoal, that'd be kind of bad. <clears throat> I have a feeling he would go for Rock Slide, though, to do double damage and maybe get a flinch. No, he is going to go for Earthquake. No, he does go for Rock Slide. Okay. Rock Slide does nothing to Registeel, so that's fine. Yeah, literally nothing. <clears throat> I flinched anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh boy. Do I outspeed Landorus? I don't even have my own Landorus to know. Um, 167 speed. I feel like we should be faster. Go for an Air Slash. Hope that we get a uh, flinch and go for Body Press in the Torkoal and take him out. We are faster. Do we get a flinch? Because that's going to happen. We get a flinch. We do get a flinch. Okay. And Torko gets knocked out. This is taking quite the turn that I did not expect. We got really, really lucky getting that, uh, that double, uh, uh, double max guard. I'm going to go for Protect again to get a little bit more health. See what he's going to go for. Probably Earthquake. Yeah, he's got Earthquake. Um, I'm going to try and go for an Iron Defense, to be honest here. I don't think he's going to do all that much damage to us. Go for an Iron Defense. Hopefully we live or we don't take that much damage. That's a little too much damage. I don't think there's any chance we actually win this. Because I don't think a body press would have knocked him out. I mean, we're, at, we're sitting at, what, plus three defense? Ah, uh, wrong person. Uh, yeah, plus three defense. I don't think there's any way we could actually win, because I don't think there was any shot that a... I mean, I'll, I'll run the damage calculator, but I don't think there was any shot of us actually taking him out with only being plus one in our defense.
Now, do I get really greedy and go for another protect, or do I just try for the body press? You know what? Since he's going to be faster than us, let's just go for protect anyway. We're going to get knocked out. So let's just try for it. We don't get it. We're not that lucky to get two protects in one game, so... Earthquake will take us out. Tell me it does. Okay. I would have been really upset if it didn't take us out. We really tried to come back in that battle, so... Kudos to us on that, because that was pretty tough to come back from. Um, great battle against Marco, but we're not able to pull away the win. But, uh... Can't always be down about not getting a win every single time. You just gotta be able to learn from it. Um, and just come back with a different plan. Kinda wanna look at this team. He did have Charcoal, Psychic Seed... Figured it'd be weakest policy. Assault Vest, how fast is he? 157, so I was faster. Um, has Magic Bounce. Didn't have Follow Me. He had Weather Ball. Interesting. And what item did it have? Wide Lens. So, we didn't see the, uh, the Venusaur come through. And unfortunately, our rank's not getting any better. And our win-loss ratio is pretty bad. But I still believe that we can come back. Um, and we can improve our rank to be just slightly better. Just a little bit. Um, yeah, the Players' Cup was fun, but it was very, very challenging. There's a lot of, a lot of really good teams that were being made. Um, I heard about people who had lost to, like, Cubone teams. Thankfully, I never faced one. Um, <clears throat> I did... What did, what did I lose? That was kind of crazy. I think I lost to a... Uh, a Zoomeral... An Azumarill Zapdos lead with Azumarill going for Soak, which I did not expect at all. And the Zapdos just kind of destroyed my entire team. So there was a lot of really interesting teams that people were coming up with, um, especially for Players' Cup. I think Fevzi actually made Players' Cup using uh, Blipabug, Blipbug, however it's pronounced. Um, which just goes to show you what kind of... Uh, what kind of EGC player he is to be able to take a baby mon like Blitbug and qualify in the Players' Cup. So, a lot of really good players during the entire tournament. I had a lot of fun in it too, but, um, you know, I took a lot out of it as, an, as a learning experience. Um, it's only because there's a whole lot that can go on within Pokemon. There's going to be so many changes that happen going forward. Um, I actually really hope that there are... Uh, we actually can't find a opponent, which is awkward. Um, I do hope that they do another thing with VGC like they did. Um, I don't know what season that was, but the season where they uh, they did some bans on some Pokemon. Like they banned uh, Incineroar and a bunch of other ones that were super popular being used all the time. Uh, where it forced everybody to come up with different team ideas. So I hope something like that happens again. Uh, simply because it just made... It made the whole experience in VGC just feel more fresh because um, you had to, you know, come up with these different teams. You couldn't use the same things that everybody else is using. Um, you had to come up with some different ideas. So I'm hoping they do something like that maybe next season. Um, and we'll see what happens with future VGC stuff um, going forward this year because we have no idea what's going to happen, if actual competitions will happen or anything like that. So, uh it's taking forever for us to find a battle, so once we find a battle, we'll jump right back into it. Alright, we finally found an opponent, Naldi. I don't know what took so long. Who has... Another interesting team of stuff like this that I was facing in Players' Cup, who's got Titar, Gastrodon, Heatran, Clefable, uh, Rillaboom, and Galarian Zapdos. So, the one thing I didn't change on my Charizard that I know Osiris's did is I have Solar Beam, his head Scorching Sands, which would have been a much better choice, especially for this battle. Uh... What do we want to run? I kind of want to go Charizard with Sableye. I 
kind of don't though. I kind of want to go Landorus maybe. Ooh, what if we went Lando with Nine Tails? But if he leads T Tar, we won't be able to get what we want. So maybe go Lando with Sableye. We got physical, physical, special. I think Registeel actually be a pretty good bring here. Do we want to bring Charizard? Probably not. I actually kind of want to bring Ninetales this battle. Uh, strictly because I can get the Aurora, Aurora Veil up pretty easily. And then I can just go for Blizzards afterwards. Maybe get some, uh, some hacks going, get a freeze or something like that. You never know what'll happen, so. See if we can't get a win. He is decked out in nothing but black and gold. He starts off with Clefable and Galarian Zapdos, and I'm a fool, and I just set him up perfectly with giving him a plus one on his attack. So that's highly unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> Does he one-shot my Landris now? What's my defense on Landris? Not great. But I do have Registeel. I think I switch into Registeel and I go for Will O Wisp into Zapdos. Even though Uncle Fable is gonna go for Follow Me. I'm assuming he's gonna Dynamax here. If he doesn't Dynamax here, I'd be pretty surprised. There it is. Probably gonna go for a max airstream, I'd assume. Uh, in which case, save lines up being perfect. Oh, he doesn't go for follow me. So we do get a burn, okay. What is Clefairy doing? A Clefable. He actually went into Sableye too. That what? Did I overread? Or is he going for a Dazzling Gleam? Oh, he's going for a Moonblast, so he wants Sableye gone. Okay. Okay then. I mean, I guess that's okay. We go into Nine Tails now. Um, we could set the Aurora Veil right now. Go for Iron Defense and Aurora Veil, to where Zapdos does nothing. I really want to go for Blizzard, but we'll just set up the Aurora Veil. He actually takes Clefable. Is it just an offensive Clefable? Oh, he played me. Good play, good play. I knew he'd bring the T-Tar. I just didn't know when. So that's going to mean Ninetales is gone. Oh, he's not gone. Okay. We just don't get the Aurora Veil up, which does suck. But we do get an Iron Defense. Unfortunately, he does have a plus one attack uh, T-Tar here, which is not great for us. Zapdos is still burned, but... Uh, let's just go for Protect. And I mean, I guess I go for a new, I can't go for a Dazzling Gleam. I have to go for Blizzard. If I go for Dazzling Gleam, it sets off T-Tar's uh, weakness policy, which would be really, really bad. 
I can't really take that risk. Goes for another Max Knuckle. Plus two into his uh, T-Tar now. Again, not great. I will be faster if I actually can hit Blizzard. If I hit it on both, it'd be insane. Zapdos avoids it, and T-Tar avoids it, and T-Tar goes for super power and doesn't do anything. This is not going too terrific for us. Zapdos keeps taking all this chip damage. I mean, I could just go and Dynamax or just steal, but I really don't think it's a good idea. I go for that. I have to go for Blizzard again. I got nothing else to go for because I send in. Uh, actually, goes close to combat. Wow, and he's able to take me out. Okay. Didn't see that one happening. But uh. So he was life orbed. Dang. I do lane Blizzard on both this time. Do I get a freeze on Titar? Give me some kind of luck. Some kind of luck. No freeze. And he connects. So I haven't used my Dynamax yet. And I have Landorus. So maybe something good can. can something good could come out of this. He has Clefable. Which I hate. But it's not Clefairy, so it's not as bad. But once again, this is not looking great for us. So... Even if we don't win, I just like trying out different teams to see if I can do anything with them. Because um, you never know what can ha end up happening. So, I guess we go for Max Quake and Titar and hooray that we take him out. He's got a little bit of his health gone, so it's a big, big maybe. But he already used his Dynamax. Can my Landorus actually sweep the rest of his team? I don't know. T-Tar's plus two attack. If I don't take him out with this Max Quake, I think I lose. If he actually does not have follow me on Clefable, it's going to be kind of insane. Because it'd be the first time I'd actually see a offensive Clefable instead of having it be a support Pokemon. So there's our Dynamax that we have held on to for so long. And please tell me a Max Quake takes him out. It does. And he doesn't follow me. Again. Is he trying to play mind games, or does he seriously not have follow me on the fable? His last Pokemon's Heatran, we win. Yeah, that does nothing. Especially because I just increased my uh, special defense. Yeah, if his last one is Heatran, we actually win this battle. And it is, so we actually win this battle. Is it Air Balloon? Nope. So, just a simple Max Quake into Heatran. I'll probably protect, but it's not going to do a whole lot for him. Heatran protects. Is he really? I'm just still baffled that Clefable doesn't have Follow Me. They both protect. Letting me increase my special defense again. And I get rid of his berry. So if he was smart, I would have actually not protected on Heatran and gone for an attack, but... Looks like uh, keeping Landris alive as long as we could and getting very, very, very lucky with hitting that uh, Blizzard ended up being huge for us. So we'll take Heatran out right here, then we're sitting plus three special defense with a Soul Vest. Glyphable ain't gonna do anything. Now it shows follow me after 
all this time. Actually, still in disbelief by that. We don't take it out, but we will have our Dynamax done. Neither one of them are going to be able to do much of anything. Uh, being plus three special defense and I'm Assault Vested. My special defense is off the charts right now. Uh, Heat Wave's not going to do anything. Yeah. Very, very little damage. We'll go for Earthquake. And that should seal the deal in this game. And we'll go for our last battle of the video. So at least Landers came up huge right here. Goes for Protect again, which is kind of a get. He goes for a double Protect again. Kind of like he's still in the game. Which he doesn't hit either. Probably just wanted to see what we had. But he's going to realize that Heatran is going down no matter what. And there's not really much that he can do to stop it. I feel like I kind of over-guessed with this, uh, this battle that we did. But we're still able to pull off a win. Crazy enough. Yeah. Uh, Clefable knew there was no point in going for follow me because uh, Earthquake ignores that. Wow, that did a decent amount of damage even though I'm plus three with uh, Assault Vest. It's kind of concerning. But we are able to pick up a win in this battle that was, again, a very, very close battle. So, good battle to Naldi. We got one more to go. So, we're able to pick up at least one win. Um, see if we can't pick up two to end the video. Let's see if we can actually see his team, too. That'd be kind of interesting. If it will... Uh, there we go. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I do want to see his team, actually. Uh, so he did have the weakness policy, which I figured he did. Um, lash out, pretty standard. Didn't bring the Gastrodon. He did have uh, Heatran, though. Flash Skin and Heat Wave, Earth Power with the Shaka Berry. Clefable had Citrus Berry. It was ran defensive, and it had Moonblast, Follow Me, Helping. He didn't use any of his supporting moves. Uh, didn't have, or he didn't bring Rillaboom. And then Brave Bird, Close Combat, and actually was running Taunt as well, which is uh, pretty interesting to take on uh, Zapdos. So he could have gone for Taunt on, um, on my Sableye easily. We barely get anything out of winning that battle for making our rank go a little bit better. So see what we get for our last battle hopefully we can get another win um so we can go at least two and one with this charizard team that we're running um i do like using it i do like using charizard especially just because of how ridiculously strong it is with solar power with the sun setup um and it gets access to scorching sands which unfortunately i didn't run on my charizard um, the one that Osiris did, he did run Scorching Sands, which I can see it being huge um, to run, especially with the current meta that we're in. But uh, we're going to go against a Registeel, Grimmsnarl, Rotom Heat, Landorus, Rillaboom, and Tapu Fini. Tapu Fini was probably the most common Pokemon that I saw throughout the entire Players' Cup. Um... What could he run? He could just start off immediately with uh, Landorus, which I could see happening. I'm tempted to go with actually starting off Ninetales. Actually, really tempted to go for Ninetales and Registeel to start, and then have Charizard and Sableye in the back. Do I go Sableye, Rillaboom? Because that Rotom can pose a threat to Charizard, so does the Landorus. I could just go Sableye with Landorus. Uh, 
I have no idea what I'm doing. Actually, you know what? We're just going to run it. We're going to run it. Haven't been able to show off um, Gigantamax Charizard at all, so I'm hoping that he overthinks it and we're able to run it. Obviously, we're going to be setting up the Hail first. We're going to get um, Aurora, Aurora Veil off, if I can actually speak it. Uh, we're going to get that off first. And if we're able to, um, go for Blizzard. We'll have to see what he starts off with, though. So he goes Rotom Landorus. Which, honestly, isn't the worst thing. It's not the best thing, though. Because Rotom could... I think, actually, Rotom's just going to go for a straight-up nasty, uh, nasty plot. That would be my fear right now. Uh, we'll go Aurora Veil. If he's going to go Nasty Plot, then I need to have this kind of set up, in a sense. Um... I mean, I could be really cheeky and switch out here, but I think I'll just go Iron Defense. I'm confident he's going to go for the na uh, Nasty Plot. And I can... If he does go for it, I can freely get off um, Aurora Veil, or I should at least get it off um, pretty easy. The question is, is I just don't know if I lose... Actually, he takes him out. Okay, so he was afraid of the blizzard. Rightfully so, I mean, I will end up one-shotting him with blizzard, but I get a roar veil off. So, Registeel is going to be huge. And there's the nasty plot like I knew would happen. So, pretty sure this Rotom will knock me out, no matter what. Because now Rotom's huge. I'm actually really wanting him to set up the sun for me. So I actually think I'm just going to let Registeel go down here. I could let Registeel go down, and then I could just go for a free Blizzard. Hopefully get a freeze. And... Body press the Rotom? I think, yeah, body press still works even if they're Dynamax. So he is going to Dynamax. I really hope he goes for Max Flare to set the sun. I'm okay with letting Registeel go down here so I can switch into Charizard. And then hopefully just sweep from there. then him having the sun up then you won't be able to do a whole lot of anything do we get a freeze no freeze unfortunate so he does set up max flare which is exactly what i wanted kind of unlucky that i didn't bring the boom Muddy Water won't do a whole lot. I don't think it brings me out of Sash. Oh my goodness, it does nothing. So I'm not afraid of that at all. What I need to do is take out Rotom. But that's kind of the issue. Is does a... I don't know if it does or not, to be honest. Uh, I guess we go for Dazzling Gleam. Does a G-Max Wildfire take out Rotom? I mean, it's going to be really, really close. His defense, his, his defenses, if I can speak, are not the best. But they're not the worst. If it's in the sun, stab, life orb, and solar power, it might one-shot him. I think Ninetales is faster than Charizard, so we'll get a little bit of damage off with Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, a little bit of damage. That might actually be enough. That was a crit. 
Come on, Charizard. If he doesn't take him out, we lose. Not even close. Not even close. We tried. And he gets the berry. Pretty unfortunate, but wasn't much we could really do. And that'll be Charizard gone. Maybe, maybe. Ah. I was going to say with Aurorvel, it was a big maybe, but... Yeah, Rotom just got to set up for free. I didn't bring Landorus, which is... It's my fault. I should have brought Lando. If I'd have brought him, I would have been able to take out the uh, Rotom easily. Finny's having a heck of a time right now being able to do much of anything. And now we have Sableye. So, uh, this is not going to be a win. So we're going to go 1-2 and two with this team, which... In all honesty, is okay. I mean, I'm going to risk it with going for Blizzard and hoping that I get some kind of luck. Just because I think it'd be funny. Um, do we get a freeze in the sun? Even if it... Wow, we actually connected on both. Do we get a freeze? No freeze. Unfortunate. So we tried. If we would have got a freeze, it would have been really, really funny. But we don't get that lucky. Goes for Dazzling Gleam. It's not going to do much because of the berry. And I have Roar Veil up. Still do a decent amount of damage even with the Aurora Veil up and the berry. So Rotom just ended up being too much for us. He got that easy, easy uh, nasty plot set up. So it wasn't really a whole lot we could do, but... We go one and two. I don't know if I'll use this team again or not. Um, I did enjoy using it. Um, we got to think of a team that's going to end up getting us to, uh, or help us, you know, climb as quickly as we can with there not being many days left in this season. So we can try and end on a better note, um, on a somewhat better note. So we're at least able to get one win with the team. Disappointed I didn't get to do a whole lot with Charizard. And then he just kind of got stomped in the last battle. Um, it, the first two battles were stupid close. I still don't think that Registeel, even being plus one defense, would have taken out um, Lando because he resisted. Um, would have been really close, though. But we're able to do with one win. And that's about all we really got going on for that. So, um that will be it for this one. Um, I don't have it as a rental team. I will post um, what Osiris used so you guys can check that out because he does have a rental team for it. Um, and he does have a Poke Pace as well. So I'll post all of his stuff with his channel and stuff in the description so you guys can check that out. Um, and you can got you guys can you know check out the team. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you think Charizard is still viable even in the current meta that we're in or if he's not even close because there's just too many strong uh, competitors to take him out. So let me know what you guys think. That'll be it for this one. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.